catheterization is performed in the intensive care unit when peripheral line is inadequate. Before performing the central venous catheterization, obtain the written informed consent based on the policies of each institution. Complications of central venous catheterization include mechanical complications like arterial puncture, pneumothorax, hemothorax, air embolism, or infectious complications, and also the catheter associated thrombosis or stenosis. So, we have mixed the heparin in this uh, central venous line kit. Now, uh, starting with the position of the patient, the patient is placed, uh, placed in the Trendelenburg position. We have properly sterile all the area and we have prepared the skin with the antiseptic solution with the sterile drape, full body drape and the surgical towels covering the body head and face exposing only the necessary area. Now we are flushing the pores of the catheter to ensure the appropriate functioning. the skin and subcranious tissue just inferior to the clavicle and later to the thumb. Now, with using the introducer needle, enter the skin lateral to the thumb and inferior to the clavicle. Aim at the index finger, here the sternal notch aspirating uh, while advancing the needle inside. It is imperative to keep the needle parallel to the floor during advancement of the needle. Dark blood will enter the syringe when the vein is cannulated. Now, securely hold the needle, remove the syringe and insert the guide wire. The guide wire should be advanced with a little resistance. Always maintain the control of the guide wire. While holding the guide wire, remove the introducer needle. Once the introducer needle is outside the patient's skin, hold the guide wire at the entry site and slide the needle off the guide wire. Now pass the dilator over the guide wire, dilate the tract to the depth of the target vein and remove the dilator. catheter is open, pass the catheter over the guide wire. When the catheter is near the entry side, feed the guide wire out 
until it emerges from the distant port on the cathedral. Grasp the guide wire distally and insert the catheter to the desired depth here 15 to 16 cm from the right subclipping vein. Now hold the catheter in place and withdraw the guide wire. Ensure that the guide wire is intact until it is completely removed. Now flush all the tools to ensure that they are functioning properly and place caps on all the ports. test in which when the, the fluid bottle is put against the negative pressure of the central venous pressure so the blood comes out of the central line and when we put a positive pressure the fluid goes inside the central venous line this ensure that the central line is placed in the main targeted vein only Now we place the suture to securely hold the center line in place and put a dressing. Now Now we can obtain a chest radiograph to ensure there is new pneumothorax and the catheter is placed in the central line and the tip is at the superior vena cava. Thank you friends. Do like, share and subscribe and sub, uh, for more updates, thanks for watching.